What's up, political gamers? Welcome back to another politicized gaming video. And in today's video, have you noticed the hat is gone? That's right. There's no more hat. But anyways, we're going to be continuing the A to Z series this video with Anguilla. And we're going to be making it into a superpower. We're going to have to backstab our ally to do it. To secure our rankings so this will be a very interesting video and i hope you enjoy it so let's go ahead and get right into it all right loading in now we're obviously gonna have to choose anguilla first next country on the list we're gonna spam infantry first we're gonna build electronics fertilizer aircraft next thing we're gonna do is research we're doing research meta this game as well justify on the dominican republic and haiti get that general up and start training those troops. After your war goal is done, you're going to land in the Dominican Republic. Make sure your troops are split beforehand. You kill, you just get more of their troops killed that way. We're going to put everything on max and taxes on low. Now we're going to jungle spec those and train them. And then after they're done jungle specking, we're going to take over the Dominican. You should take them over, no problem. Boom, you now have 5 million population and 2 million pop cities. Very nice. Now we're going to declare war on Haiti after our troops have reinforced a decent amount. And you're, we're going to be able to take them, no problem whatsoever. And there they go. We've also justified on Cuba and Jamaica. As you can see, our expenses right there are kind of gaining. So we're going to develop and build recruitment centers and get some more money. I'm going to declare war on Jamaica now. Take them over. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Very nice. Now we're going to go for Cuba. And we're also going to start building our first couple of tanks on Dominica cities. We're going to buy some oil as well. 30. That should secure us. And there goes Cuba. So we have a foothold in the Caribbean now. Very nice. We've also been jungle specking those tanks. Because I was going to go for Venezuela right here, but I noticed the Republic of Central America already going for it. And I did not want to waste resources contesting it. So we're just going to go for Africa. And get that titanium as you can see we also allied the republic of central america they're, they're going to be a big opponent this game knowing that we are technically allied i still consider them my competitor there goes liberia and guinea if i'm pronouncing that right probably not we're also going to develop again justifying war on niger Declaring war on Mali, Guinea, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, Senegal, and the other country, which I do not know the name of, no. Gambia, there it is. As you can see, we're almost to quantum computing, 400 research away. There goes Senegal, and now we're going to take... Bali now. There we go. We have a nice base in Africa. We've also just built an aircraft carrier. This is because we're about to declare war on the rest of the Caribbean so we can form the West Indies Federation. This will give us 10 plus stability. The cores on it don't really matter because they're island nations. They don't really provide that much. But I guess we do get to utilize the airports faster, which is a pro. We're going to go ahead and declare war on all of these nations. By the way, we are also going, we also went down the right path this game. So we are fascists right now. The reason we made a carrier is so we can damage all of the troops beforehand. Which is uh, good because we don't want to go through 20k each in a naval landing sense. And there goes the last island in the Caribbean. Boom, we've just formed the... West Indies Federation. So now we're going to declare war on Burkino Faso. Pretty fast. 
And now we're going to declare war on Niger. I'm definitely butchering these names. Doing some more tank spamming. We're actually going to go for Brazil now. We definitely need to get a decent amount of population. And money. And I know Brazil is going to be the best target to do that because they are literally right south of us. Now I noticed somebody actually became Brazil. In the top right you see there. So this will be this will be a challenge for us. Go ahead and land in Brazil. We're gonna go straight for the capital since it's a player and I don't want them spamming. Because I do want their money. There you go, cap snipe just like that. But we do come across a problem later on. That is a four million stack. If you can see right there. It's a good thing I noticed that because that tank stack was definitely going to die right there. And there's no way I'm going to beat that. Even if they don't have anti-tank, that's 4 million infantry. I'm pretty sure that beats 6k tanks. As you can see, I was going to try to get the attrition debuff right there, but that didn't happen. And I ended up losing all of those tanks. Very unfortunate. Very, very sad. Maybe I could have killed him if I just held my ground and stay entrenched, but I don't know. So as you can see, we're also running into some money issues, which is why we're justifying on some more islands right here. Bahamas, Bermuda, basically every island in the Atlantic is what we're going to take. There's that extra 4 million to our economy. We're going to do some more tank spamming yet again. We're, we're getting so desperate for money that we're going to micro states in Asia. It's not bad. We need some money. Because I'm not going to, I'm not underestimating this Brazil player. If he makes a decent sized Navy, he can beat us easily. So I, I want to be prepared for that. As you can see, he offers a white piece right there, though. We do not accept. Instead, we land. Again, this time we auto cap. We're not going to go for a cap slap again. Just because I noticed by how he was playing, it kind of looked like he was on mobile. So I knew he wouldn't have been able to manage a, a lot of tanks like that. So there goes Brazil. And we have we got 7 billion from that. So that basically helps us the rest of the game. As you can see, we are justifying on the... Maria Empire as well. Getting kind of greedy with our expansion right here. Also gonna just also gonna declare war on Bolivia, Paraguay, Argentina. Tax collection five. There goes. As you can see, we're also making some more tanks. And we're gonna also gonna develop as well. So we've landed in the Middle East. It's been some time. Server is gone. We're going to wipe out the Middle East, though, to get this oil income. And our competitor is our ally. So I know if we want to handle a big war with them, we're definitely going to have to have some oil in order to win that war. So that's why I decided to take over the Middle East right here. So there, there we go. Very nice. Also got a... False fate country in the midst of that as well. Now we're starting to build up our navy as well. Building up a massive one. We have 300 ships right now. But mind you, 80% of those are going to be for gates to passively defend our homeland from naval invasions. So let's go ahead and send that stack to our ally. We are allied, so we do have to unally them. Which will take a little bit longer on the war declaration, but that's fine. As you can see, I'm thinking of everything right here. We're also going to move our capital to a much safer location. It's going to be this million pop city in the Brazilian Amazonian. The reason this city is far away from the coast. So if our ally wants to have a carrier, they won't be able to hit it. It's jungle, so very easily defendable. You can see I cannot see my capital away just yet. 
but we will be able to later. Now we're going to start spamming artillery, anti-air, and tanks. And that should basically secure that for the rest of the game. As you can see, we have two carrier stacks next to our ally. We're going to start splitting our troops now. Now, it didn't look... It looked like he was... He might have been AFK right here. I don't know what he was doing. But uh, he wasn't reacting. So, I, I don't really know what he was doing. So, by this time, I have unallied him. And... Looks like now we're going to declare war on him because the war goal has finished. It turns out he was actually BRBing. So a, if you saw that split second of the rankings right there, you could see that he was catching up on us. He has 400 million more population than us, by the way. He has, he has China and Japan. So I don't want this guy to develop and then eventually backstab me. So we're going to backstab him first. Going to take out his entire civilian industry with our bombers. And take out his capital as well. Let's go ahead and send our carrier over to that capital. Send our bombers back. We can get the cap snipe without actually landing on that scorch. So that's very nice. None of our tanks have to attrition. Now we're going to send our bombers to the east coast to absolutely destroy it. We're going to try to shut down his naval, naval capabilities by bombing all of his ports. And the East Coast is a major factor in that because the New York region has a ton of pores. You can spam a lot. So we're going to take that out before he's able to spot any. We're also going to take out the Pacific Coast as well. Disable all of these American ports, essentially. We've also begun auto-capturing America. And I don't think there's anything he can do after the Pacific Coast is taken out. He does have China. But eventually that will separate. As you can see, we basically secured rank one now. We do have the Frankish Empire. But come on, I'm sure we'll be able to beat them in the future. So I actually decide that I'm not going to take them. Because we can just full scorch them. They'll collapse. And then yeah, I don't really have the time to go all the way to Asia. Tr trying to go fast here, right? Now, I actually noticed that this German player was trying to form the EU. So, I, ha I had to give it to him. I had to give him a Cyprus right there. As you can saw, I just released him. And we've basically... We're basically rank one. Uh, we could kill Germany if we wanted to, I'm sure. He's uh, overstretched. All I have to do is take out India and all of his economy is gone. But basically, yeah, that was it. That's our land. We have South America. We have the Middle East, basically. Some of Africa. There's our resources if anybody wants to see them. There's our economy laws. Everything's maxed out. Fascism, of course. That's what you want to do always. 311 million income. Very nice. There's our technology if anybody wants to see it. Max political, essentially. Going straight for that resistance and ideology power as fascism is absolutely insane. So yeah, that's basically it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Thank you guys for watching. And if it's daytime for you, I hope you have a wonderful day. If it's nighttime for you, I hope you have a good night's rest. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.